Good evening, and welcome to Brave Science. I have discovered a universal pattern that appears in all natural systems. I have spent the past several years doing extensive research on this discovery, and I am now ready to share my findings for the first time with the public. On this channel, Brave Science, I will be releasing a series of videos in which I will be presenting what I feel is a strong candidate for the so-called theory of everything. And this candidate is called quadruplicity. It is my understanding that theories explain why and laws explain what. I also understand that an equation is usually expected to accompany a claim to the theory of everything. However, I can tell you at this point, I have no such equation. But I hope to find one in the future. In fact, if there is a James Clark Maxwell out there, I welcome you with open arms. What I do have are a set of four statements, observations, or laws that are falsifiable. By means of quadruplicity, I have made many discoveries, and I look forward to not only sharing these with you, but enlisting the aid of some of the brilliant and scientific minds that I know are out there. And please, do not allow the lack of a degree or a formal education to hold you back. I personally do not have a university education or a degree. I realize quadruplicity may not be what today's physicists are looking for. I mean, it's just too simple. However, it describes everything from the quantum level to the level of general relativity and everything in between. It even harmonizes with some of Mr. Kaku's work. What, what, what a brilliant mind there, right? While I was playing Pokemon, at his age, he was building an Atom Smasher. You know, blows your mind. I would like to begin with the four laws or statements of quadruplicity. And they are the quadruplicity of natural systems, the quadruplicity of natural phenomena, the third is yet to be named, and the Matryoshka law of natural systems. Today, we will discuss the first statement of quadruplicity. The other statements will be considered in following videos. The first statement is, all natural systems are made up of four components with specialized functions. Now, when I say natural systems, I do not mean it as Merriam-Webster would define it. By natural, I mean it occurs in nature free of the manipulation of human beings. And by system, I mean a set of units that work together as a whole. Therefore, a blade of grass is a natural system. However, Mountain Dew is not, for obvious reasons. Today, I will not be discussing the specialized functions of natural systems. But I do want to impress upon you the ubiquitousness of the number four in our universe. I have prepared a list of natural systems that exhibit quadruplicity for you today. There are four components of blood, and there are four main blood groups. There are four states of matter, and four types of chemical element. There are four fundamental forces, and four parts of the human rib cage. There are 24 ribs, and 24 is, of course, divisible by four. There are four kinds of galaxy, and four kinds of clouds. There are four types of asexual reproduction, and four components of a neutron and proton. There are four human hair textures, and four human hair colors. Anything else is but a variation of the original four. There are four brain waves. And we have four heart chambers. Now, someone might argue, well, what about a fish? A fish does not have a four-chambered heart, and that is true. But quadruplicity states that regardless, you will still find four there, and you do. The heart of a fish is made up of four parts. Humans have 32 teeth, hopefully, and 32 is divisible by four. There's eight incisors, there are four canines, there are eight premolars and 12 molars. All of these are divisible by four. Besides this, there are four kinds of teeth, the incisor, the canine, the premolar, and the molar. And within each tooth, there are four tissues. There are four nucleotide bases. And lastly, there are four kinds of human tissue. These are but a drop in the bucket of the natural systems that I have researched over the years. And I invite you to find and share your own discoveries 
and add to the growing list. Why is quadruplicity helpful for science? For instance, we know very little about dark matter. I once heard it said that we know more about what dark matter isn't than what it is. Some say it exists and some say it doesn't. But let's just say, as an axiom, that dark matter is real. If dark matter is a natural system, as has been defined here in this video, then according to quadruplicity, it should have four components with specialized functions. And so that is what I predict, that if dark matter is real, it has four components. Therefore, it is left to us to take account of our available resources and use them to isolate the components, collect data, and identify them each by each one specialized function. <laughs> Having done that, we can catalog and name them. And so by means of quadruplicity, scientists no longer have to shoot in the dark. Quadruplicity gives them a target to aim for and an understanding of what they will find before they get there. In conclusion, I encourage anyone to participate. Follow my method, which I will also describe in another video. I would at random think of a natural system, perhaps an acorn, blade of grass, or an organ. And then I would read everything I could about this system to see if it has four components with specialized functions. Perhaps after 200 examples, maybe after 1,000. You too will see that four is everywhere in the universe. If you find three, it's usually because the information you're reading has left out the fourth component. When I found five or more components in the past, it was because I was not isolating a natural system sufficiently. Please, let me know in the comments section what natural systems you chose to research. If anyone finds a natural system that they have thoroughly researched and it does not have four components, I would love to see it. Please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And this is Brave Science, telling you to take no one's word for it and be brave.